John here, guys, and today we're talking about how the HD Zero goggles are here. And if you're lucky enough to be one of the beta testers, you may just have them under your Christmas tree in just a few days if you've been on Carl's nice list. But for everyone else who pre ordered, your shipments may start shipping as early as December 18th in the order they were received. So be patient and they'll start coming in soon. This is going to be an overview of everything I think my initial impressions what it's like to be a part of the beta tester program they feel good but not as premium as say the Orca or either of the DJI but good very sky zone level of quality fit and finish remember sky zone already surpassed longtime industry leader fat shark speaking of sky zone there is rumor that this goggle is manufactured by Skyzone for HD Zero, similarly to how Runcam manufactures the HD Zero cameras. I've not been able to verify this for sure, so it may not be true, but if they held a Skyzone lookalike contest, the HD Zero goggles would place. Overview, they have a wheel with a button in the center on the top and a single button on the right. That is all the inputs other than the beautiful red physical power switch on the side. I feel like I've had beautiful dreams where 99 red power switches roll by and now I finally have one in real life. Not a long press button like the Orca, Skyzone, or the new DJI have, but an actual switch. Tupac never rapped about hitting buttons like he was fit with hydraulics. It was switches. The wheel button combo is surprisingly intuitive with the fantastic menu system. Best in class I'd say already and we're only in the beta. The DJI Goggles 2 system with its touch interface is clunky and not intuitive and while you eventually get it, it seems like it was laid out as randomly as Yahtzee dice on your kitchen table. I'm astounded at how well HD Zero lands the UI out of the gate before the final release is even done. Flip to the bottom and you'll see the head tracker input, firmware update port, HDMI out, focus and IPD adjustment knobs, HDMI in, SD card slot, and a regular 3.5 AV jack. The IPD focus adjustments work very well, almost identical to DJI's new system. However, DJ thought to put a locking mechanism on this, so once you set it, you can actually forget it. HD Zero does not have this, so it may get bumped around and require readjustment if it moves inside your back, but it works very well. I was able to get the OLED screens in focus one eye at a time very quickly and went about my business. Using them in HD Zero mode with my tiny trainer I use for competition, I felt like the image was the best I'd ever seen HD Zero look. 4x3, big, beautiful. I felt instantly locked in a little more. This is not the 90 FPS camera, this is the HD Zero 2 camera, but maybe I'm feeling the removal of the small amount of latency added in the HDMI port, and man, it felt so locked in, almost telepathic analog. Right away, I could see the image improvements in analog. It has never looked so good. My first flight was before trying the overexposure firmware update and I could see color shifting around when I looked into the sun, getting a bit too light and overexposed. After the firmware update fix, it's already improved and I'm hoping they are able to get the image colors and performance improved even more when the final versions ship. The analog add-on port fits very secure so no worries in it ever falling off but it does make an already wide goggle even wider so make sure your travel bag or case has enough room for it to fit with this on or plan on putting a few extra mating cycles on it to put it on and off the tooling to get this right is mind-boggling for a first product release very satisfying putting it in and off these goggles are in the beta testing phase, so what does that mean exactly? It means that myself, Lamon, Joe Mama, and a large part of the FPV community are buying in for a slightly discounted price to be able to test, provide feedback, and fixes for everyone 
else. What are some examples of this? The fans. Oh, the fans are loud. Not like a jet engine loud, but actually much, much louder. Like we're traveling to another dimension loud. This is a good example of the things that beta testers are reporting back and can be worked on. A couple of more examples are the analog image being overexposed with rapid fire, and there's already a firmware fix for that. Firmware fixes are being reported by the testers and fixed by Carl and the rest of the dev team so fast that when Lamone and Joe Mama went to the night spot this Wednesday, they began reporting issues and there were two more updates before they even left. Remember, this is a system that's being grown by us for us. So if you're in the first phase of this release, expect for some small things and you may even be able to help the entire team reporting and testing to continue making them better and better. Now, when you get your goggles, what are the first steps? One, download the latest firmware. This will literally be changing daily at the beginning. So I'll leave a link to where you can check for the latest. Put it onto the root of your SD card. And when they arrive, insert it, go to about and update the goggles. Two, decide on what antenna combo you want while you wait for shipping and have them ready. Yes, you can use any combination of four patches and stubbies you already have and it'll be fine. The lowest profile solution will be the true RC patch antennas and the stubbies with links below. Remember, for the patches, you may need to print your own rails. This is a nice place you can customize the color and you print them in. ABS or PETG is preferred, but I just went with PLA because I'm lazy and had it on hand and it looks great. Disclaimer, I was offered a reviewer deal to where I could try them out for no risk and send them back if I decided not to keep them, but I decided to put my money where my mouth is. And I also paid for the DJI goggles and I went ahead and bought into the beta testing round, the same price as everyone else beta testing. I appreciated the offer, but I believe in this system in Carl and our community enough that I'm willing to take the gamble. It may be noted that I had a similar offer from Walks now, and I chose not to work with that system, even though I could have cost me much less and maybe even have been free. Not because it's terrible, because I personally think that two HD systems will survive this round, and I don't want to waste my time working on the loser. Does that mean I'm always right? No, I could be wrong. All three systems may survive, or only one survive. For now, I'm focusing on these two. Take that to mean what you will. As you can see, compared to this generation DJI goggle, it is a bit wider. It's all wide on the outside. It's a bit thicker. It's a bit heavier compared to the flagship Orca. It's also a bit wider and a bit heavier, but what do you expect? This is gonna be premium. This is HD and analog all combined in one. Exciting times, guys. You're gonna be seeing a lot more HD Zero content on the channel right here as we, the Houston crew, continue to test and develop this system for all of you guys, as well as the rest of the hard to work 300 beta testers out there, all providing fantastic feedback. Thanks to Carl, I did have the chance to interview him at International Open. So if you wanna go check out his dedication to this project personally, go check that review out. Also go check out Lamone's overview of the goggles. He actually did a really good job. And if you want him to keep making content like that, he goes into a bit more detail. We're not competing with each other. We're all leveling each other up in the Houston crew. We're eventually gonna be like the FPV Wu-Tang Clan. That's right, everyone's. This is the little tiny microphone that I recommend using for an external. Yes, it does have an internal one, but you're gonna get a lot of fan noise in there. You just plug it in right here to the microphone slot and look how it fits. It's almost as if it was made to go there because it's facing your mouth. You can barely tell that microphone's even on here. Here's how you look with the goggles on. Do I look super cool? Do I look cool? Here's how I look with the DJI goggles on. Do I look really cool? Does this look cool, guys? Here's how I look with the Orca goggles on. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So as you can tell, you're gonna look like a huge dork no matter which one of these things you're wearing at any given time. So just enjoy the hobby of FPV. Don't worry about how things look. Is this 
the best looking goggle ever no but it looks great and it performs well and what you see when you put your goggles on may be some of the best ui as well as image quality we have ever seen and that's what counts i do this is because i don't know what to do you guys tell me to do <laughs> yeah that's a choice <laughs> oh, that's okay yeah, that's because a but yeah. you actually listen so oh, we, yeah, we yeah. say the same thing to every company yeah. but most times they don't listen so yeah. this is awesome yeah the fact is i don't know anything <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, awesome. I had the other choice. <laughs> we like yeah. that. We like, that's yeah. what we like about yeah. you, Carl. We yeah. like Check out the super fat HD Zero goggle strap. Ooh!